Hey, welcome to the channel, get to Babylon, we get to everything. Okay, today is a short video this time. We just want to make a quick uh, as possible reply to this. So we're making a reply to to the second latest so far as I'm recording this video. Uh, video uh, from, uh, from, from Muslim YouTubers, one of the Muslim YouTubers, uh, people in the community, the Muslim Spectic, uh, the Muslim Spectic. And uh, on the video about Imam Zaid um, defending uh, LGBT, uh, community to some degree um, thing is I just wanted to highlight a point this is a quick video um, of course um, I don't support Imam Zaid and after this video it's very much um, after after not the video after the, that post uh, which is uh, you will see here uh, you definitely have heard about it that's why I clicked on the video but um, in that regard after that one and uh, you know when you Pull the dots together, you know. I want this video to be short. Like after that one, uh, to me personally, I don't recognize him. Not even as an imam. Like it's GG. But uh, you know, it's very difficult to say to somebody you know a Muslim. So leave that aside. But like this is really bad. However, I just wanted to highlight a point. We just why I wanted to highlight this point is because this point is important and I just want to make sure it is clear and it is there especially to non-Muslims to know so there's no misunderstanding and miscommunication going on we need to highlight that nobody is highlighting it on YouTube as a YouTube creator so I just want to highlight that point um, just um, in a minute uh, within brackets uh, before we highlight that point very quickly um, I just want to say like except for that this particular point um, I agree 100% with uh, Hakiki uh, from Muslim Spectic. I agree with him 100%. Um, uh, there's, there's agendas behind this and so forth. And that's the part which I agree with him and that's the dangerous part of it. However, despite the, the agendas, we shouldn't forget this point and the forget. And the, and, and the point is as follows. So I think he is right from the point of view of there are non-Muslims. The point of view, so the point of them being non-Muslims. So, uh, so I'm not supporting him, I'm just trying to highlight this particular point. From the point of view of them being, they are non-Muslims. They're not LGBTQ community, uh, LGBTQ uh, plus community, or whatever. Um, they, they, they're not. Most of them, they're not Muslims going to this community. It's non-Muslim. So, so I think from the point of view of they are non-Muslims, he's right to some degree, as the the post is is highlighting to LGBTQ uh, their thing and to us their our thing. I don't. I'm, uh, I don't agree with the wording 100%, but what he's saying is, as Muslims, we're gonna, I'm cutting him as from the post, as Muslims, we recognize the right of LGBTQ, plus, the right of LGBTQ, plus, very, very important, but a line underneath it, people to do what they want to do, but that doesn't mean I am waving the rainbow flag and ad advocating for that. So the problem is recognizing the right of LGBTQ, plus. Um, it sounds, it sounds innocent, but when you both the dots, you know, it's not like from other other sources from outside where he does his association, so forth, so forth, so on. So let's continue. So from the point of view of them being non-Muslims, yes, but let me explain that a little bit further. Thus, uh, so a non-Muslim can do whatever because they are a non-Muslim. Thus, by that point and logic, he is right. However, he should have highlighted the non-Muslim factor of this point. He should have highlighted because they are non-Muslim, not just because because they are LGBTQ plus people. Um, factor are not lifted like that. You know, the ruling of Islam applied to only Muslims. I think it is from that perspective, uh, it is correct to a high degree. I'm talking, saying to a high degree because there's agendas too and so forth. But let's put that aside a minute. I just wanted to highlight this point. And from this particular point alone, then yes, to LGBTQ their thing, to us our thing. However, I agree with you to everything else. Uh, I agree with the rest of the video. And I just wanted to, to, to highlight, to point out this point. So especially, you know, we're not in our own land. We need to respect the law of the land, even if we don't follow it 
per se 100% however it doesn't mean we will support and mean basically neutral uh, being neutral neutralization being uh, like not not again not like doing trouble and not uh, doing enough and uh, doing what they wanted us to do neither of that just being neutral doing none none of the two sides being in the absolute middle um, where else so if we don't follow uh, like we should we shouldn't support them per se um, I just wanted to say that Qawm uh, Lut times is thousands of years before Quran it says son of Israel ruling in Islam non-Muslims do what they what they believe in especially where you are not in command this is this is just do do not force on us uh, I'm talking about the Muslims uh, to your religion and to uh, to your uh, to your your uh, to your <laughs> to you your your religion and to us our religion uh, so like well, any people like talking about come loot and so forth it's important but that doesn't mean we take what they believe in because it's so to speak is a separate religion so the, from the story from Qam Lut in Islam to say that it is a, a very haram, a very great haram. However, it is for Muslims to learn as an, an example is for us, not to non-Muslim. They themselves used to be believers to, talking about Qam Lut, then started to becoming uh, uh, gay, then started to, to not believe in God. So are we going to kill non-Muslim just because they are not Muslims? This is just like similar logic because it's a because they believe differently they don't most most lgbtq community people are atheists to begin with you know what i mean so believing not believing in god is the highest sin it's like the the worst sin so and being lgbtq is also a sin a very great sin but it's not to their magnitude and the sin of not believing god is much greater than outweighs uh, the lgb thing so when people are talking about uh you know what what why we should allow them this, why should we allow zina, why should we allow that and this. Well, the thing is kind of right, but not really. Um, for example, in India, they were allowed to burn themselves, you know, the wives, uh, I forgot the name of a particular practice in Hinduism, but you know, when the when the husband died before the wife, the wife would burn herself. That's still uh, kept to be allowed, and then until the Christians, you know, the British came, and uh, no, actually it's not Christian. Christians, liberal Christians, whatever, when the British came, they outlawed it, the Muslim dinner, because to them, their religion, to us, our religion, um, because, you know, for first ruling in Islam, you know, you have to be a Muslim for the law to apply in you, in terms of Islam, so the Christians in the, uh, in the Arab world, in the first caliph and so on, were allowed to uh, eat pork and onwards, um, that's another example, it's also a sin, it's like, you know, Islam is for non, uh, for, for uh, Islam is for Muslims, not for non Muslims, you know, if a non Muslim wants to do what Islam says, fine, whatever. But it's it's for Muslims. You cannot apply the law of Islam on people that don't believe in it or any law. That's one of the principles of jurisprudence in Islam. So, you know, the first principle of Islamic jurisprudence, Islamic law applies to only those who believe it, uh, believe Islam as their own religion. Otherwise, those laws don't apply unless the the person wants to still apply these law or a bit particular law but if they don't want to they can apply their own community law of the law which they believe in or the country they came from extra extra the law of the land of the muslims applies only to those who believe in islam basically the muslims themselves and the people and the individuals whom were organized to be muslim individuals for a long time um, I just wanted to apply uh, to, to, to point out this point and it's, it's very important uh, uh, and that's it and but very much I agree with everything else and uh, in Muslim perspective video and yeah all right this is a very quick video see you in the next uh, next video peace out wake up to reality.